Good morning, early morning coffee conversation. It's just getting light out. Can you see that mist? There's like a mist over the field, it's gorgeous. So I wanna talk today a little bit about your heart center and how important it is to get that energy center open and have energy moving, not only for your health, but also for your life. So I've been talking about self-love. I've been talking about how forgiveness and self-love might be showing up in your body and in your life. Today, I wanna to give you a, one technique that you can do to actually start to shift that. The people that I work with, many of them have health issues because of my health background and because chronic health issues are a problem for so many people and they try so many things um, to try to get that to be better the diets, the protocols, the cleanses, all that stuff. But what we do is really work on the energy in the body and um, and also how they think. And to, so it's not only health, it will affect your relationships. You, you notice that you keep creating the same relationships in your life, whatever it is. That's because the energy of your past and the way that you think throughout your life keeps creating the same future until you learn how to shift that and change it. So in your body, the actual energy gets stuck, which is why the forgiveness and the love is so important so that you can move that stuck energy out. Emotions are energy in motion, right? Energy in motion. So that energy actually stays, not in motion, it stays in the cells of your body and between the systems. So we have multiple energy centers in our body and each center is in charge of different things. It's got different biochemicals that work in that center. It's got different hormones, right? Like the reproductive system, the reproductive center, the digestive center, different nerves innervate that. And the energy centers need to work together. They need to communicate and have energy move easily through the different centers so that they can talk to each other and do their job. When the energy is stuck and not moving, then the centers and the systems start to break down. And that's when health issues occur. It's also in the area of your relationships, the energy center of your heart. When you stay locked in anger, when you're not willing to open up your heart to connect with people. And it's just being a human being. It's, um, there's nothing wrong with that. It is, what we do, and I call it heart armor, like you're like, mm-mm, not gonna do that again, mm-mm, not gonna share myself again. That may have started when you were six years old. So today I wanna show you one technique to start to get at least the energy center of your heart open. And if that can translate into self-love, perfect. It's the first step, okay? Again, there's a lot of things that we need to do to shift, but this is one. So what I want you to do is you're gonna put your hands on your heart. And the purpose of that is to connect your brain to your heart. What your heart feels gives your brain information. I used to think the brain did everything. No, the heart tells the brain, I'm feeling fearful right now. I feel fearful. The brain says, okay, let me produce the things we need to, to deal with fear. When you feel love, when you fall in love or you have a baby, the brain, the heart tells the brain love and the brain produces oxytocin, which is the hormone, the love hormone. It has you bond to your baby, has you bond to the person you just fell in love with and you're flooded with all those feel good things, right? So we put our hands here to connect the brain, just like your elbow right now. You're not thinking about your elbow, but as soon as you touch it, there's a sensation and the brain connects. Okay, so I'm gonna connect to my heart. I'm gonna think of something or someone that I love that makes me appreciate them or I have concern or care about. If you can think of love, great. If you have trouble doing that on the spot, then just something you appreciate or care. And we're gonna do three deep breaths, keeping that in mind, okay? And I want you to imagine the breath moving in and out of your chest area, not just in and out of your heart, um, I'm sorry, your nose and mouth, okay? So close your eyes, deep breath in, imagine someone or something that makes you feel good, and then exhale out. 
And again, deep breath in, see it going into your heart and exhale out. You can even picture your heart itself expanding. One more time in. Exhale. Okay? You can do that a few times a day. You start to notice the energy center of your heart starts to get activated. You're pulling new energy in. And as you keep those thoughts and emotions where you want them to be, you can start to break down your heart armor, okay? Great, let me know how it goes. Try it a few times a day.